Alright, put the gun away. Surprise welcome. Sincere farewell. Pretty much asked all that. Good day. Ooh, scan you. Sweet. And he's right there. Now look over here. Achoo. Yes! That was worthless. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago. Saren a little but I saw how he was. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians. I should go. I'll be here if you need me. What I thought I was supposed to. No! No, no, no. Ah. Uh. Okay. Investigate Saren. Go to the med clinic. In the upper wards. Okay. Or see sick academy. Alright. Let's go that way then. Mass transit thingy, my boober. Nearby somewhere. Should get us to where we want to go. This guy. Thought there it was. There it is. Oh, Brian. So we need to go. Head clinic. There we go. That was quick. I didn't <laughs> tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Oh, God. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Whoa. What the hell just happened? Oh, you're so bad at... Yeah, that's right. He's gonna eat... Oh, the bite. I lost shields. Oh! Come on out! Come on, dog! Can you throw that? Yes. Owned. That's it. Bag him and tag him. Where are my loots? No. You okay. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. I know those men threatened you, but if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. 
Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we heard about him. Cool. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Ooh, okay. Okay, so I can only have a party of three. Hmm. Don't really need your healing skills right now, Caden. Looks good to me. Let's do it. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Alright, everybody sells stuff. Hmm. It's a hell of a jump. Oh, what the hell. I do need a... Crab. I need to start using a few of these. Oops. Still like your armor. <clears throat> Better shields. Ah, I gotta go with the healing. And you, Mr. Turian. So I don't have better armor for you yet. But at least I can make your shields better. Awesome so far. On to C-Sec Academy then. See this Rex guy. Oh, okay. Not sure. Uh, I don't know where it's at. <laughs> Let's guess the Citadel Tower and see what happens. Guess wrong. 
<laughs> Guess again. Oh. Financial district? Oh. Over by the embassies. Okay. Now I know where to go. I figured it out, guys! <laughs> CSIC headquarters. Okay. Straight up and to the left. says it has nothing in it. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good oh, to hello. meet you. Oh, hello. Keeper? I wonder if it'll tell me if I found all of them. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Don't care. <laughs> Uh, the lounge is this way. C-Sec thingy about hoosers down this there. Let's do this strange. first. There more humans around. What do you want? Oh, Commander. What do you want, butthead? Is there something I could do for you? Calm down, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never went to see her, did you? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. <laughs> I don't have time to talk now. Well, I'm very busy. Why goodbye? Hello, Commander. Can you? I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well. Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier, all at the same time. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. That was not helpful. Oh, look. That one of those bug dudes. That was not helpful at all. I'll take the extra XP though. Thank you. This should be interesting. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well <laughs> enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. Oh. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. 
More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectre? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. Oh. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres? <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Well, that was exciting and unhelpful. Thanks. Why don't I go ahead and just decrypt your personal uh, computer here? That definitely won't get me in trouble or anything. Yes! Even the uh, music got ominous there for a second. All right. Now where's this works guy? I'd love to. Seasick cat. Oh, Seasick Academy. Yes, that's completely different than C Second Porium. Okay. We've been up there before. Yes, open. I can at least turn an A quest out here. Let's take the rapid tra transit over there. Yay! Travel! That's not strange. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Ooh. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see the sadness behind your eyes. It tells a story that makes me want to weep. Pain and loss, but it drives you, makes you strong. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Oh. Well, Remember my I... words, Commander Shepard. I they think that trinket time. was a meta gel. Magical meta gel. Okay. 
You know what they won't give me? A map. A map that tells me what CSEC Academy is. One thing I actually care about right now. In fact, oh, oh well. Let's look this way. How's it going today, Mr. Wall? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, I don't know if transporting will really help me. Maybe... One of the tricky poos might actually know where the academy is. It would make sense. They are guide bots or whatever. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. The statue you see yeah, in the aftermath exciting. of the Krogan cool. Rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue. Nope. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Thank you for not telling me where I need to go. I hope you burn in hell. Also, have a pleasant day. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. Hmm. What's back here? I'll take door number one. Ah, more keepers. And this place is a little too perfect. You're hiding nothing. Seasick Academy. Ah! This way. The way I came. Okay. It's a start. I like it. Follow the signs. Okay. Some more of those fancy signs make an appearance. Any day now. Two CSEC and embassies. Just come around the back. I scanned you already. Huh. Oh, hover cars. Cool. Hello, you two. I'm glad you won't talk to me. To Seasick Academy. What did I just like miss the entire academy? Is that what happened? To Seasick Academy. Oh, son of a bitch. It's gonna be down here, isn't it? Yeah. Needed a message. Oh, another elevator! Yes! <sighs> In light of oh. the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial huh? investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. That yeah, makes sense. Yahtzee!